Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate approving a quote inside of Mobile Quote. So here inside of the app on the My Quote screen, I'm going to tap a quote to open it. And then I'm going to click the summary button along the bottom. And this screen displays a summary of the quote. By default, uh, by room is selected here along the top and you will see a bar chart for the system summary and equipment versus labor breakdown in the middle of the interface and then a list of your rooms at the very bottom there. And um, down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a breakdown of the equipment, labor, estimated taxes and the total. If you switch to view this by system, then you'll see a room summary along the top and your systems will list towards the bottom. We'll go back to by room. When you are ready to approve a quote, click the approve quote button in the bottom left hand corner and that will pull up the quote approval screen. The text that you see displayed here is defined by the meeting objective that you've selected for this quote. I'll show you where you can change that in just a second. Towards the bottom there's a signature line so you can have your client sign off on this. I'll go ahead and put a signature in here very quickly. And to approve the quote, click the approve button. That will take away the option to approve this. Once a quote has been approved, it can't be unapproved. And also from here, you have the option to send an email. I'll go ahead and click the send email button. And that will pull up your email template. Here you can decide who you're going to send this to. And uh, you'll notice that there is a PDF that will be attached to this email. So let's go ahead and send that. And towards the end of the video, I'll go ahead and show you the email that was sent as well as the PDF. For now, I'm going to click the little X in the upper left hand corner of the quote approval screen to close it. And now I'll show you where you can edit your meeting objective as well as the email template. To do either of those, click the quote settings button in the upper right hand corner. That will open your quote settings and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the meeting objective section here and you can click there if you'd like to change the meeting objective. And again, that's the text that's going to display on the quote approval. And if you'd like to edit the email template, just click the edit email template button here. And that will pull up the email template for edit. To edit the email template, just tap in the field. And here I'll add a carriage return or two. And then you can change anything you'd like, add text. You can also add tags by clicking this button in the upper right hand corner. This will display a list of all available tags that can be inserted into your email template. One thing to note here is that you, if you do edit this email template, it is not specific to this particular quote. It's global for all quotes within Mobile Quote. I'll go ahead and click Done to close that template. And also click Done again to close the quote settings. I'm now going to click the X in the upper left hand corner to close the quote. That will take you back to the My Quote screen. And if you'll notice on this quote, you'll see a little green dot that says Approved. And this is the email that was sent, and as you can see, there is an attached PDF. This is what the PDF looks like. Here you can see there's a cover page. We'll scroll down a little bit. Um, the scope of work will display under the project description. You'll see a pricing breakdown by system and then by room. And at the bottom, you'll see a pricing summary as well as the signature. And once again, the approval here is dictated by the meeting objective. And that's how you approve a quote inside of Mobile Quote. 